Hello and welcome to LIG Special, and this is your host Shamaki. Um, today I'm just going to briefly do an update to a video I made for a 400 level student of Amadebello University, the Department of Dramatics. All right, I made a video last year and I named it John 421. So this video I'm going to just make an update and I'm going to uh, make it a John 421 update. So the current 400 level can look at it and it will help them okay to achieve something so i have a video i made on how to download uh satellite imagery using sas planet so you will need that video all right so you need that video to download satellite imagery using sas planet then i have another video from the last year update so from the last year video you'll see how to download images on google Earth. okay so you need these two videos to be able to do what i'm going to do today so you have to download satellite imagery using sas planet and you also download satellite images into Google Earth, which is the recommended software for your uh, assessment, all right? So um, I'll drop the link to those videos on the description of this video. So now what next is that you're going to bring in these two images. I have these two images that I'm going to be using, all right? So the high res is the one that has it's georeferenced okay so the one from sas planet is georeferenced but that is not recommended for your assessment so this is the one that i download using the google Earth. this is for your assessment of the same area just that one has more coverage on the other this is one kilometer by one kilometer as stipulated on your instruction manual all right so we're going to georeference this image using this image that's we're not going to use coordinate we're just going to georeference this using this so i made this video for when you have a, a vector file as a shape file which we know is having coordinate system and you have another thing of that nature so you but then this i'm going to use a raster and a raster to do that all right so that's the video so if your georeferencing tool isn't up, you just click on any of this space around, right click, and it's going to bring you, you just check on these tools and find your reference. And mine is on, so here is it. So, but because we have two images, you have to be sure of which one is showing here. So the one we're going to georeference is this one here with JPG. The one we are going to use to georeference is the one with the high res with the TIF, all right? So now, we will right click and we zoom this to layer then we drag this up we keep it up here all right so what do we need to do now we need to locate four points or more points where uh we'll see them on the same other side of this image so let's say i'm gonna use this one i'm going to use this side so i'm just going to come here and press on add control so i'm going to click here now i've clicked right so i'm coming to right click on this and then i will zoom to layer so i'm going to locate what so i'm going to click here so next i'm going to zoom this to layer again and i'm going to locate another point so here I'm going to locate something okay let me use this building here and I'm going to use the center here I'll click then I'll right click on this and zoom to layer so I'm going to uncheck this and then zoom this to layer right so i'm zooming it to layer and then i'll click on it then i'll bring this back zoom this to layer so you can see that it has come to overlap on the other one right okay so let's look at it very well so i'm going to take this off now you can see that they are not still really lapping well but anyway, lapping is lapping, right? So next, I'm just going to I'm 
I'm going to click find another thing. So let's go down to the stadium site here. So I'm going to find this stadium and I'm going to use this end here. So let's remove this first and find the stadium. Here, then I'll bring back the high res and here. So we have three points, right? So let's keep looking at how well they are lapping, how they are coping. So this is already bending, but at least they are becoming coming closer. All right. So uh, next is we're going to look at what else? Another thing. It has to be from the one that is not having spatial reference to the one that is having spatial reference. All right. So take note of that. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to click on this junction. So I'll bring this up and find the junction. So it is this junction. Okay. So we have four points, but let's look at how they are doing really. So we still have a small gap here. So let me see. Still have small gap. So, so we can locate more futures. We can add more actually. We can add more, right? So let's look at what we should be adding. So I'm going to take from here to here. Let's look at how it's still it's also still doing. So oh so you can see the difference now it's in small space, right? Okay, so that's how you can easily georeference an image. So let's add more so that we keep increasing the accuracy of what we have all right so i can see this and this so i'm going to click i'm going to click here then i'm going to bring it here so we can see that the accuracy is also increasing i've made up to how many point i've made up to how many point i've made up to seven point i think minimum is four Maximum is as many as you can, all right? So the most important thing is that your image is to reference and easily done, all right? So once I'm satisfied with this result, I uh, will just easily come to georeferencing, rectify georeferencing. So just rectify. And I'm going to, I'm going to come here. I'm going to come to this work folder. So I'm going to create a new folder or anything. Let me just put it inside this Abuja. So I'm just going to put it in this Abuja folder. And uh, I'm going to name it that location name. Okay, it's going to be three. I'm going to click on save. So this will convert that file with everything that it has and also save it as a format, TIF. So once that is done, I'm just going to go back and click on update your referencing. So once I've updated your reference, I can now, uh, this is now your referenced. So let's remove this and bring the one we have. The one we have your referenced. So we have this, and then you can see it's now having TIF on it. So see that the two are on the same spot. All right, so this is briefly what I want to show you on the georeferencing. So I'm going to also take another time to make a video on how you can digitize. I think there's nothing much for me to show you. So I'm going to do another video that will show you how you can uh, do the Landsat imagery on. So maybe that video will come up tomorrow. Yeah, so just stay tuned. I'll do another update of that video. I didn't do it last year, so I'm going to take a detailed time to explain to you how you can get that done. So stay with me.
and go nowhere. So 400 level, this is for you. I'll see you in the next video. So bye bye for now.